Okay, so first we want to make sure that we're in orthographic. And I'm going to go ahead and hit front. So let's add a box. I'll use the gizmo to make it bigger. Okay, we'll do something like that. So we'll turn on its side and squeeze it to about the width that you want the arrow to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we want to go to snap and we want to do it 45 degrees. So we'll put 45 and then we'll just snap it this way. That way we get the nice pointy edge. And you may want to now stretch it just up and down instead of according to the actual box. So just hit a line. So now you can stretch it this way. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll do voxel remesh. 162 is fine, so we'll remesh it. And now let's take our trim tool. We can use rectangle, and we can use this horizon line here as our base, but you really you can cut it anywhere. But I'm gonna use the red line. There we go, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and voxel remesh it. Again, just to make the lines a little more crisp. And now we can, we can just add another box turn it to the side and just use the gizmo. Let's hit left. I'll use the gizmo to just squeeze it together. Okay, that seems good. And now you can just stretch it to as long as you want this stem to be. Or maybe something like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's take these two pieces and voxel remesh them together so we can go ahead and validate this. So now we have both these boxes. We can just voxel remesh. Let's voxel remesh around 200. So now they're just one object. So if you want to round off everything at once without using smooth tool, you can use the round edge brush. So essentially you just want to take your smooth, tap on it, hit clone, and we'll just add, let's call this one smooth two. All right, so now you're in this new tool and you just want to change so let's go to stroke. You want to change that one to lock radius. Then you go to alpha. We're going to leave everything the same here. We'll go to fall off and we'll change, just tap on it and change to flat. Then we go to filter and we'll leave this as it is. We'll go to pressure and we want to make sure that we uncheck use global settings. So you want to uncheck that. And then you want to go preset, preset, Tap, flat, tap, flat, okay, and that's it. So then you just go back here, tap it, hit save. Okay, so now you have smooth two. So you wanna just go on your mesh and start from the middle and then just drag out a bunch of times. And you'll notice that the edges are now a little bit more round Bit more clean and I'll show you with the just undo I'll show you with the wire so you can kind of see what's happening so now you see the the wire frame so now I'm going to drag it out and you see how it's just changing a little bit making that a little bit flatter turn the wire off and just do it a bunch more times Okay, looks pretty good. Now let's just bring the size down because it's quite big. So we wanna go here, miscellaneous, decimate. So we'll decimate it, bring it down. Still looks good, still looks pretty good. Still looks okay. And it's only a little bit above a thousand vertices. Maybe we can decimate it once more. 794 still looks okay. And here's another way to make an arrow. So I'm gonna add a cylinder. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'll use my gizmo and just shrink it down to about there. And then I'm gonna use snap 90 and I'm gonna snap it forward. So now I'm going to validate this and I'm going to use, 
actually let's turn off smooth shading so that'll make it nice and flat actually I don't know why I don't know I don't know why I turned smooth shading off eh, it doesn't matter so now next we want to just stretch this out so let's choose symmetry and we change this to vertex now with symmetry we want to make sure we have I think it's the X let's go ahead and put on show line so now we should be able to see well, let me go back to the gizmo there we go so we can see this red line here I'm just gonna change that to the green X off Y on there we go so now I'm just going to stretch this with the little arrowhead here I'm gonna stretch it like this I think that's pretty good okay so I'm gonna clone this and this is going to be stem. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the cylinder and I'm going to turn symmetry off and I'm just going to put it back to auto. So we'll just rename this arm. So now we're going to take this, add mirror. When you want to move from a mirror, you have to actually be on the arm. So let me just check to see if I did it right. Oh, I did. Okay. So now let's uh, let's let's keep it on snap. Let's maybe move it to 45. And now I'm going to use this ring to go like that. And now I'm going to tap align so that I can just move it straight back this way. Okay, let's move the stem up. Whoop. You want to make sure we turn off symmetry and I'll just put this back to auto. So now we should be able to move the stem up. Let's go back here and I just want to move this tricky gizmo. I want to move it over until it's yep, yeah, right about there. And then we'll take the stem and we'll move it down here. So that's actually pretty good. If you want to make it longer, just hit symmetry and go back to vertex and then you can stretch it again. Oh, but here's what just happened there. I stretched it and it was all messed up. So this is what you do instead. Symmetry, vertex, and then you want to go here and go to local. So that will move the symmetry to the middle, although this is the wrong symmetry. We want it across the middle. So do we want X? No, we want Z. So we want Z and not Y, because now I can see the blue Z there. So I'm not exactly sure what I did with this one, but Z is the one we want, so it should continue to stretch now. So that's perfect. So now I'm going to turn off symmetry and go back to auto, and I'll move this back down. So now we just have a longer, a longer stem for this arrow. Let's join them all together. So let's validate this. Take this, and we'll do a voxel remesh. 250 or so, and you get a nice crash. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. All right, so great. I'm going to do that all again really quick. And voxel remesh. There we go. Much better. I'll use round edge to smooth it out. And you have another type arrow. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.